Coral reefs are absolutely integral to our survival. If we didn't have coral reefs surrounding this island, then every hurricane that came through would impact us a lot more than what it does. Aside from that, worldwide, coral reefs cover less than 2% of all the bottom of the ocean, yet they're home to 25% of all marine life. If we continue to lose the coral reefs, then I don't know what's gonna to happen to all these marine animals. Who knows where we're gonna be in another 50 years. In August of 2014, a uh, cruise ship was misdirected and dropped its anchor right on top of a uh, live reef formation. And its anchor and chain ended up dragging and destroying approximately 16,000 square feet of reef. So for the last year and a half, uh, several of the locals as well as individuals visiting the island have been going out systematically and trying to piece the reef back together, salvaging as much of the live coral as we've been able to find. The first step was to remove the rubble, and so far I think we've taken about 10,000 pounds or about five tons of rubble from the destroyed area. This was predominantly a volunteer-led effort, so a lot of it was just us, the dive community, going out on our days off or whenever we had time and making do with the resources that we had. So we're working with pieces of rubble sometimes that can go anywhere from 50 pounds to 450 or 500 pounds. It took months, everything was shattered, so once we cleared that out, we have basically a runway now. Before we removed all the rubble, we took all the viable pieces of coral out and we placed them in a nursery situation. And that coral's been outgrowing for the last year and a half since the anchor drop happened and now we're taking the pieces of it and we're using either cement or a two-part marine epoxy that's non-toxic and securing it to the reef. You don't ever want to give up. So when I first went out and saw that anchor drop and the big scar across the reef, it seemed overwhelming. And then when I went back today, it's completely fixed. So you see it can be repaired. So anytime there's any sort of damage like that, it is worth it to put the effort in to salvage what was once there. Our ultimate goal is to get to a point where we can be hands off, let nature take its course, and ultimately the rehabilitation is going to be a natural event. It's something that's going to take 50, 60, you know, maybe even more years for it to occur. The reef's not going to look the way it did in my lifetime, but we can get it a good foothold and a good stepping point for nature to then progress from there.